हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई राहुल अग्रवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस डिलीवरिंग ए लेक्चर ऑन फाइल एक्टिव्यूट्स एंड फाइल परमिशंस इन यूनिक्स और लाइनिक्स ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ एट फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट फाइल एक्टिव्यूट्स वॉट इज फाइल एक्टिव्यूट्स फाइल एक्टिव्यूट्स मीन्स डेट डेस्क्राइब प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फाइल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फाइल मे बी फाइल टाइप नंबर वन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फाइल इज टाइप ऑफ फाइल फाइल टाइप मे बी थ्री टाइप्स नंबर वन इज ऑर्डिनरी फाइल सेकेंड वन इज डायरेक्टरी फाइल थर्ड वन इज एनी अदर टाइप ऑफ फाइल तो इट फर्स्ट फाइल टाइप दे आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑर्डिनरी फाइल डायरेक्टरी फाइल एंड अदर टाइप सेकेंड फाइल एक्टिव्यूट इज फाइल परमिशंस परमिशंस टू द फाइल वी हैव थ्री फाइल परमिशंस वन इज रीड सेकेंड वन इज राइट थर्ड वन इज एग्जीक्यूट रीड परमिशन राइट परमिशन एंड एग्जीक्यूट परमिशन थर्ड इज फाइल ओनर वो क्रिएट फाइल्स फोर्थ वन इज फाइल ग्रुप in which group owner of file exist number 5th disk space on file how much space is occupied by file on disk number 6 6 date and time of last modification in file last last time when file is modified number 7 file name these all are file attribute that means this define the properties of file file type three types ordinary directory and other file second is file permissions read write execute in short we can write rwx r W and X. Third one is file owner. Fourth one is file group. Fifth one is space occupied by the file. Sixth is last time file modified. Seventh is file name. Any problem? Now we can discuss how we can change these file permissions. File attributes can be viewed by using ls command with option. L. L stands for long listing of files. That means with file name, we also get all file attributes. L S minus L. It shows all files with their attributes. File attributes number one, file type and file permissions. Second one is number of links to file. Third one is owner of file. Fourth is group name of file. Fifth space occupied on disk. Sixth one is last modification, date and time, and last is file name. So at first we get file type and file attributes. File type. If we start from underscore, it represent ordinary file. If we start from D, it represent directory file. Then file permissions. There are three permissions of file. Read. Write, execute. Three type of users. Number one is owner of file. Third is group of file. Third one is other ones to the file. First three shows file permissions for user. Next three shows file permission for group. Other last three shows file permissions for other. First one is read. Second one is write. Third one is execute. Then number of links to file. If we have one link. then it shows ordinary file more than one shows directory file then owner name of file then owner 
group name then space on disk last date in time of last modification in file and then file name these are known as file attributes we can view by using ls minus l command now we will discuss how can we change these file permissions to change file permissions we have to know existing file permissions we can view existing file permissions by using ls minus l command outputs first column first column of output of ls minus l command shows like is number one character shows file type next three shows file permissions for owner of file or user of file next three shows file permissions for group last three shows file permissions for other there are three permissions read write execute first one is for read second one is for third one is for execute it shows owner or user have two permissions read and write group have two permissions read and execute while other have read and write permissions now if we want to ch any change in these file permissions like we want to assign a new permission or want to revoke an existing permissions then we have two methods first one is relative method second one is absolute method now we will discuss how we can change file permissions by using these two methods one by one first we are discussing relative method how we can change file permissions by using relative method relative means with respect to anything so in relative method we will change file permissions with respect to existing file permissions means what we assign or revoke permissions from existing permissions to file permissions in relative method change with respect to existing file permissions we can assign a new permission or we can revoke an existing permission with respect to a current file permissions to change file permissions the syntax we chmod to change file permissions we use chmod command means change mode mode means change file permissions syntax b at first we will place type then operation then permission and then file name means in which file we want to change it shows what change we want number one type means in which category we want to do change second one is operation what change we want third one is file permissions there are three types of user number one owner owner is known as user shows by u second one is group g third one is other o or combo of this combo of user group uz group other l and ug means all we can represent by this a second one is operations we have two operations number one is plus plus means assign minus means revoke and file permissions three permissions read write execute and combo of this getting my point then at first we will place chmod change in which user we want to do change then operation if we want to assign then use plus if we want to revoke then use minus then file permission and then file now we will discuss some examples how we can change file permissions to change file permission by using relative method we are discussing two examples example number 1 let a file which name is abc existing file permissions are is user have read write group read write other have read permission now i want to revoke write permission from i want to revoke write permission from user from user for this i have to use chmod command file name now at here we place what change we want we want to change in user so at first we place 
u u4 user operation is revoke revoke for minus then permission permission is right so by using this user we can revoke write permission from user now taking example second let your file is pqr file existing file permissions are yes we want to do changes is at first i have to assign write permission to group and other and want to revoke execute permission from others command b ch modi then file name now change we want to do change in group and other group other that means geo group and other assign assign for plus permission is right number 1 change then comma second change is revoke from which other other for o revoke for minus permission is executed getting my point now we will discuss how we can change file permission by using absolute method second method to change file permissions is absolute method in absolute method we don't required existing file permissions we can change directly required file permissions without knowing existing file permissions for this we use octal numbers for it number is 4 for write execute is 1 now combo read and write 4 plus 2 6 read execute 4 plus 1 5 write execute 2 plus 1 3 and all three permissions read write execute 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7 where is is syntax change mode then three octal numbers first respect to user second is for other third is for sorry second one is for group and third one is for other then file name like ch modi then three numbers one is for user second one is for group third one is for other and file name that means now abc file have following permissions user have six six means read and write then group group have five five means read execute read and execute third one is other other have four four means only read permission no other permission in this way we can change file permissions thanks for watching this video please like comment share don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and visit our website gurukp.com thank you thank you and thank you